Is your child struggling to understand math? It is really tough when we see our kids having a hard time. If their grades are suffering or if homework is not getting done or it's too tough for them, there is help available. Please welcome Lynette Groves and Brad Jackson, both of Methanasium. They are owners of Methanasium Centers here in the Valley. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. And Lynette, I know you're going to get to this problem in just a minute, but Brad, I want to start with you. What is Methanasium? So Methanasium is just a math learning center that's a great environment with a great curriculum. So we make it fun for the kids to come in and learn. Right, so when a child comes to you, I'm sure you've seen them, they're pretty much beat up by math yeah. and all the numbers and it gets a really scary for them. It, it really hurts their self-esteem. Do you customize a plan for each yeah. student? So that's a great question. We actually spend a lot of time with the student and the parent. Some of it's verbal to assess where they're at, what's going on in school, and then we'll actually do a written examination. Um, and this is really des designed to figure out what their skill gaps are. Once we identify those, we create a custom learning plan for them that really is engaging and rewarding because we recognize them along the way. There's a lot of incentives to do well, and so they just they brighten. They 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 just really yeah, enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when that light bulb comes on, you go, yes, they got it. They've grasped yeah. it. Now, when a child comes to see you, do they bring his or her homework, yep. or what what happens inside the center? Yeah. So again, we have our own curriculum that we want them to work on because we want them to close those skill gaps. But they are allowed to bring their homework in, and we'll spend time on that. We don't spend a lot of time on it. We try to keep that to about 15 to 20 minutes because most students come for an hour. It's about what they can handle. But then uh, we'll correct that homework for them. But again, we want to close gaps and make sure that they have the right foundation to continue to do the work they right. need to do in school. And we're seeing some video inside one of the centers uh, right yeah. now. And getting ready for those very important tests, it's critical. It can really amp the anxiety for students. Do you yeah. help with that as well? Yeah, not only do we help with that, we encourage parents to have their students bring it in. And many times we have relationships with the schools and the teachers. Oh, great. So we'll actually get those tests ahead of time. That way we can work individually with the students to make sure that they understand how to do it. We won't give them the answers, of course, but sure. we'll make sure they understand how to do it. Yeah, getting them ready, getting them the tools. Yeah. Okay, so let's get you ready. We're going to do a little fun little trick. And Lynette, I went to your center. I've seen, I've been inside your center. It's amazing. Thanks. And this is one of the things that you teach the students. Grouping by tens, how do we do that? So one of the things when kids come to visit us, they are struggling with adding numbers. A lot of times they fall back to, you know, counting on their fingers, different ways of adding that aren't efficient. Mm -hmm. But um, one of the things we do is we teach them how to not how to not use their fingers and we um, do something called compliments of 10 knowing the numbers that go together to make 10. Okay so this is an so example. for example once they get past that we know that 1 and 9 go together to make 10 and 2 and 8 make 10 and 3 and 7 and 4 and 6 so when you're faced with a long problem like this it's very easy to look it out and group things by 10 so in this case I have a 10 here a 10 here another 10 here there's 40 tens there's 50 plus one more is 55. Much easier than trying to write it out by going one plus two plus three. And if the numbers are bigger? If the numbers are bigger, again, we know eight and two make 10, so together this is 100. Here's another group of 100. These numbers I picked because five and seven make 12, but knowing 12 and eight is 20, this is then 200. Ah. So now I have 100, 200, 400, 190 is 190, so that makes the grand total 590. All right. Much easier and Much more reliable. Easier. And this is just one of the many concepts that you all are teaching there at Mathnasium. Such great tools to add to our arsenal of already, you know, a tough day. Now we can, of course, do it a little simpler. Thank you so much. Mathnasium does have a special offer for all of our Sonoran Living Live viewers. You can get an assessment and two one-hour sessions for just $39. There are 12 Valley locations throughout uh, the area, so to find a Mathnasium nearest you, all you have to do is visit them online, Mathnasium dot com.